Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you a pretty rare fixture. This is an American Electric 125 watt mercury vapor area light. Now Electropack had a very similar design light in their lineup, however it was made out of plastic, the entire housing, this one is aluminum I believe, and it used a high pressure sodium ballast and a specialty low volt Phillips bulb to make it mercury vapor. This is a true mercury vapor fixture. It is uh, different electronically than the Electropack one as it uses a standard 125 watt mercury vapor bulb. I picked this up a while back at Goodwill. I think I shared it in a video and uh, well, it ended up sitting in my closet until now. I haven't even turned this thing on or put it together since then. So, let's start off at seeing what we got here. We have the refractor assembly. Note that one of the four sides is different. I'd assume this side would go towards the, uh, the building. In fact, it does say that. It says house side on it. And this one says yard side. So we do have some type of orientation that this should be applied. I believe with the Electropack low volt version, this uh, was an additional option. It did not come with the fixture. Unfortunately, you do see there is some type of crack going on here in the corner, but overall it's in great shape. Let's set that aside and we'll take a look at the mercury vapor bulb. And this is obviously made by Philips. Yep, there it says it, Philips. It is, well, interesting. It says 100 watt or 125 watt H42 ballast. Yes, that is a 125 watt mercury vapor bulb. Pretty cool, because that's a, a, that wattage is more standard in European countries than here in America. Here in America, we have 100, and then it goes right to 175 watt mercury vapor. So it's pretty unique and uh, rare to find a 125 watt, a true 125 watt bulb here in America. Now, there are the Regent 100 watt slash 125 watt bulbs, but they're not really true. They're, they're kind of a mix uh, for their lineup. But here we have a, a true one, pretty cool. It was made in June of 1989. Of course, you got the packaging here made in the USA. Tells you how to do the date code right there. Pretty neat. So yes, that's the packaging. Let's take the bulb out. Here you go. We can see on the bulb itself, it is indeed 125 watts deluxe white. Pretty cool. Our nice medium base. That is so, so cool. Okay, let's put that back in here so it's safe. Obviously it goes in the other way. You can, you can tell where it's been sitting for all these years. Here we have our mounting hardware. It's simply three bolts and fixture itself. So underneath here, we will find our ballast and wiring and all that great stuff, but Let's read our sticker. It's a Mercury Luminaire. It is uh, SV175M, 125 watt, slash Mercury Vapor, three amp. Tells you to use the H42 lamp. Here we have some more stickers as well. This thing is incredibly heavy because once I open it up, you'll see how big of a ballast is hiding in there. There's the Goodwill sticker. I haven't even had a chance to take it off. We have the pretty standard Electropack style photo cell here on the top. Those are pretty hard to come by. Of course, our very nice all aluminum black enclosure. Um, I was surprised that it was metal because the ones that I, I thought I saw were all plastic. But no, this is, this is metal. So there's a side view. Of course, you have your mounting right here. This is your mounting bracket. So I'm going to get our screwdriver here and let's see what we can find underneath this cover. So with those screws removed, we can remove our shield. 
And there's our ballast. So we do have a diagram here at the back for how it is wired. And we have our mounting bracket. Of course, this gets mounted on your electrical box. And then the fixture slides into the two slides here to hold it into place. Then, of course, you put the cover on and it screws on there. Of course, we have our very nice heavy-duty ballast. I love seeing this kind of stuff. That is such good quality compared to the uh, later mercury vapor offerings on the market right before they all went away. Whoa, look at that ballast. Wonderful. We have our insulation there uh, around the photocell. And, of course, our pulse-rated socket, which I believe, yes, we can remove that too. You can see there's not much behind there. So we'll put that back in place. And I will go and find something to wire this up with, and we'll try it out for the first time. Now that we have the fixture all put together properly, let's take another look around. So, here we are looking in from the bottom. You can see the wonderful 125 watt mercury vapor bulb there at its angle. We have the refractor here. Um, let's, let's put it like this. So here's the fixture. You can still see the bulb inside. Take a look at it directly from the side. Very nice design, pretty cool. Of course, from the top again. From the front, you can see that unique design. There we are back at the bottom. So, let's see, I think we'll set it on its side like this because that's how it's meant to be displayed. And, uh, this this is loose. I tightened up the screws all the way and it's 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 just loose like that I don't want to over tighten it and crack it or anything. So we're gonna leave it alone and uh, Let's get the cord over by the outlet. Ooh, this is exciting. We're gonna turn it on I'm, I'm wondering I'll have to find something to cover up this photo cell just in case it uh, It sees itself. So we'll be back. I've taped a piece of cardboard over the photo cell So we're good there and let's go ahead and uh, I'll get this lined up on the outlet here. Oh, I need to turn this off. That would be uh, important, but you know what? Now I can't see even where the outlet is. So we're gonna get this lined up. I'll turn it off and we'll plug it in. First time, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that color. It's a beautiful pink. I don't know if you can see it. Let's take a look at the bulb itself. Beautiful, beautiful pink. Deluxe white mercury vapor startup. That is so cool. Let's see if we can look down in the middle of the bulb there. 125 watt mercury vapor. Fantastic. I'm gonna put this back on the tripod. Line it all up and we'll let it warm up. Okay, so we have this beautiful bulb at full brightness. It is fantastic mercury vapor light. Such a pure white out of this brand new bulb. Let me take the camera off the tripod. Take a look inside. Oh, I love it. That is so, so cool. So, let's see how well it lights everything up. Well, it certainly does a does a fantastic job. Beautiful mercury vapor light. I wonder how much more light it would have put out if they coated the inside with a you know white or silver versus the black. 
but maybe they were trying to just, you know, trap a little bit of it so it's not annoying the neighbors so much. But we definitely have the, the refractor there. You can see it from the front and the back. It has, of course, a different pattern, probably to try to keep most of the light in instead of coming out that direction. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's put the camera back up here. I don't know if these will help much, but we'll turn them back on. And there's the fixture itself. I don't like to move mercury vapor lights when they're on. But uh, you get a side view there a little bit. Absolutely amazing. A 125 watt, true 125 watt mercury vapor area light in one of the most interesting designs I've seen. I have a something that this reminds me of is the McGraw Edison uh, designer style 175 watt mercury vapor area light that I have as well. I think I have a video of that somewhere else on my channel, but this reminds me of that. This is just so cool. I'm so happy I could share it with all of you. It's so unique. Well, anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.